Hey you, it's Jess here and welcome back to my channel. We are back to doing another casual crafting. Casual crafting with Jess and we're sort of setting up um, my new Foxy Fix personal wide rings. I've got a bit of a start on it. Um, so basically I got all my inserts done. And yeah, they look pretty cool. I washied where I wanted to have dashboards and where I really wanted to have tabs. Um, which I realize doesn't work out with some of these ideas, but... So figure that out as we go along, because I want to put some tabs in there. Uh, so first of all, I'm going to insert a clip of me filming on my computer. And just making some die cuts on my silhouette and I'll be right back. So we're going to make some die cuts. Hopefully this recording will work. I haven't tried it before but I just have my screen recording through QuickTime Player if you wanted to know. But we're going to do some Silhouette Studio stuff. So this is a Silhouette Studio. If you didn't know you can actually get this for free. You don't have to have a silhouette. It's really useful to do a few different things and you don't need to cut everything out of the silhouette. So I want to make some die cuts uh, for my planner, my personal wide rings. And uh, I usually, I'm not very good at sizing up planners because um, die cuts, I don't know, I just find it really difficult. <laughs> so I'm going to um, make a box. Just using that little box tool there. This is the new version of Silhouette. I don't know if everyone has this. I think most people gave up on it, to be honest. But, um, I know. I have it. And we're going to make it... Oh, it kind of reshuffles it a bit. Sure you locked? Anyway. Um, usually I have it unlocked. And so, because we're doing this sort of, um... Uh, so usually the this would be the page. So technically the height is 6.75 on a personal wide and the width is 4.75. So now we have like the page. Silhouette will often change it slightly but it'll still come up the right size. I don't know, it's weird isn't it? But um... <laughs> I think it's six. Yeah. Anyway, close enough. So now we've got like a um, a rough size of what the inserts are like in the planner. And so when I do some die cuts, I don't I don't actually import any images into Silhouette. I know you can, but I can't be bothered. So um, I just open up because you can just drop and drag, drag and drop images. And I've got all these sort of um, Digitals that I think you're putting in. I definitely want to do this one from Make It Do A Mama. So you just drag it, and there you go. You got your little thing here. <clears throat> so I'm just going to resize it just a little bit because if we want a die cut that we're not going to hand cut, we're going to have the silhouette cut it out. Um. Well, I'll show you that, but I'm going to hand cut these because I can't be bothered with my silhouette. But uh, I'll show you how to do it. So you want to click this like little jelly toast. It's a little butterfly. And you select a trace area. And then you put the threshold up. And this will, um, and then you want to press trace and, or trace out edge or trace and, trace and detach. So this way we can delete the square background. So now you just have this, and um, because these things are connected, they're all cut out. So that's why I just try and delete the background first, the square, and then, because even though it's transparent, the square is still there according to Silhouette. So if you want the outlines around the image for cutting, you have to do that. So now everything is little bits and pieces, but we're going to go up here and we are going to group the selected shapes. Um, so now I just have everything there. Yay! And now you can resize it to fit. You can see how this will fit in an insert. 
it's actually pretty good size. That's how I like to do it. Oh, Heidi's joined me on the bed. I'm in bed right now. <laughs> it's so much better to film while I'm in bed, but um, too bad the bed's not very stable for filming. <laughs> I see now you can do this little like uh, offset select a shape, which is a little star, and you can see how you can get the cut lines. Like every shape is sort of overlapping, but it will, you know, like join up. So then I put it down to five, so you can see how it does. But then there's these little bits in here that will um, cut out, and you don't really want your blade doing that. And it wasn't until um, Paper Princess or Kiki showed it that I never knew how you could like actually deal with those little bits and pieces. So you want to select the oh, I'm just editing it. You want to select the outline. And you want to go to Object and Release Compound Path. And look, now you have those little bits, and you can just go selected, ungrouped, and you can go in and delete them. So your silhouette isn't going to go crazy. And uh, yeah, so then you have a perfect little cut image right there with the cut line. And really, uh, if you have a silhouette, and even if you don't plan to cut it out in the silhouette, it's still worth doing that so on the file you have in the future if you do it again you can do that I mean it is a difficult image so I probably will use my silhouette but yeah so that's uh, the first one I oh, really like this one it's not Halloween but hello I'm an art collector are they just stickers first of all <laughs> um, I think it's funny because I also love collecting art, which is, you know, why I got kind of got into stickers. So uh, I think that's how big I want. I want a fairly big image in my planner. So then we just have to do the same cutting out thing. Find our jelly toast as I see it, or jam toast, jelly for you guys. And just do the threshold up. This is a nice smooth image, so we should be able to just take it out. And you can see how this leaves some little bits of the sides. And you can just delete those. And yeah, now I got that cool little image. Uh, we could probably very easily cut this one out. But we might as well put in an offset. There we go. Easy. And what I like to do with offsets is they are separate, so I like to group them with the image so then I don't I can just be like woo and I don't have to worry about him. Let's have a look in here. This one's cute. Uh where is this this is Fox and Pip here, Dr. Pepper. I love it. These ones are from uh it's gonna be a link down below. Let's open Chrome. You guys are gonna be seeing everything right now. Let's not go straight to my shop. <laughs> Just want to show you who made these ones. Please don't judge me on my stuff. Whoa! <laughs> That's not what I'm pressing! Right? Don't judge my purchases, people. This is from. Let's make it do a moment. This is from Lasne Cray Shop. Leslie Cree, I think she's French, so, um, but yeah, that's the shop here. I've gone really into her digitals, they look super adorable, I mean, look at this stuff. I've saved all these ones with the white backgrounds, because they'd be perfect for vellum, but my printer won't print vellum like this, it, it doesn't like the black outline, so I don't know what to do. I want them, but I can't have them, so, help me. <laughs> Uh, so what I wanted to do actually was I really liked this die cut that she has of the bows. It doesn't seem to be big enough to now to make it like spin on edge. I'm just holding on to this little green thing with my thing down and I'm using shift as well and that will make it um, I want to see if you can make it into sort of 
like a really big bookmark. I mean, look at that monster. <laughs> but I don't know if that's going to make it fuzzy. Now, um, usually the silhouette will warn you if it's going to be fuzzy. It puts up like a little yellow warning. It doesn't seem to be thinking it will. So, I feel like for this I definitely want the silhouette. I'm just going to have the silhouette cut this all out. I just, um, I don't like how my silhouette cuts out things like all the way through because it's not very good at it. Um, it just doesn't cut all the way through sometimes. There are parts on the page, especially around this section of my silhouette that doesn't properly cut. It's just here and it's really weird. And then it's also correctly aligned, but by the time it gets down here, it's slightly off. So you want to learn things about your silhouette. Your silhouettes are very weird and picky, but nonetheless, gosh, I hope this is working in terms of um, uh, recording because I haven't tried this before. But there you go. We got a, like a big bow bookmark. I should probably put it this way. The thing with die cuts is they start filling up your page pretty quickly. <laughs> You just sort of level it down there. I think we can fit in another one. These girls are cute. I like them. But trick or treat. You could also do a bookmark with this washi stack. That's real cute. Oh, maybe I want the washi stack instead of the bows. I don't know. I've also got some Jasania stuff. I got my name lettered. That was awesome. I've got a whole bunch of J. Crew plans things. I bought a ton of her words, <laughs> which I gotta do some stuff with. I also um, downloaded these. These are Love Live images, if you don't <laughs> know. Uh, Lachlan and I were really into Love Live when it was on. It's a few years old now. Um, but Nozomi from Love Live is like my anime girlfriend. And look how cute this is. I'm gonna take it out. These are actually from, also I should say, do not be alarmed that my, I don't know if it's filming that way, but my silhouette looks blurry and weird. And it is uh, just the silhouette, the program, the way it runs on this laptop, I don't know. It runs blurry and I don't really know why, but it does. And um, oh my god, how cute would that be as a vellum? Oh my god, why won't my printer print that? Because that is adorable. Mm. Like in Halloween setup, how cute would that be? No. No, not you. <laughs> it's very easy to grab other images and silhouette. Oh my god, no, that would be such a cute vellum. Hmm. I'm mad now. <laughs> It's just, it's just, it won't. I've tried every setting and it just won't print properly. Is that everything I've got to use? Mm. This will make it really, I could print this off because it's black and white, but color with black, it just doesn't work. Uh, should do some of, uh, we should do these. And then we'll call it a day, shall we? Oh no, I was going to do some of my own designs. Oh, that's an annoying sound. I apologize. Let's cut this out. So once again, we have this um, little bit here that you don't really want the silhouette to be cutting out. So you just go to Object to Release Compound Path. Um, I don't really right click, you can right click on it and do the same thing, but um, I'm on a Mac laptop, and, as you can tell, and it doesn't like to right click, it just does like a fill, <laughs> if I show you, oh no, that, uh, there we go, so that's when I press the right click button like thing to get it to right click, it likes to do like a fill thingy, so no. Uh, so we have those. Let's put this over to the side and like sort of 
place these in here. These are some big bows. I hope my page size is correct. No, it is because you have like, you only get two on a page. And then you have this one. So you have room for one smaller one in here. And I'm going to do my own. Now you can see all my stuff. <laughs> all the way I do things. Um, so I did these ones. So dope and spike can. I also did squad. Which is a printer and yeah. I don't know about putting these up yet if I'm going to. But um, uh, let me know if you're interested in these die cuts. Uh, they'll just be up on my personal use digitals. Yeah, that looks good. I love saying like um, I do things out of spite, and then I so I did this because I think it's funny. Like I get it from. I originally got it from um, Seinfeld, where he returns a a suit jacket out of spite. Uh, that was his re reason for his return, <laughs> which wasn't uh, a valid reason from the st for the store, of course. Anywho, uh, so yeah, that's why I'm like, I love just doing things out of spite. But I looked up the dictionary m meaning after I made this digital, and then I wasn't so sure about releasing it because um, it said like you do thi do things out of spite is because you want to offend or hurt other people and it's like well that's not how I use spite um, I'm just doing it like a, you know like someone tells me not to I can't do something so I'm like well I'm gonna do this out of spite against them because <laughs> how dare they say I can't do something <laughs> but I don't want to offend or hurt them I don't know let me know what you think about the word spite I just think it's funny Plus the whole play on Sprite, so fueled by Sprite. I'm just, uh, we're just hanging out, you guys, again. Everyone seemed to like the idea of the casualness, so I probably already said this in this video. But anyway, there we go, we have my file, and we're going to save it, and we're going to go back to, uh, back in person now. Okay, so then I just film, put in some more footage of me like doing the die cuts. So basically what I did was I printed them onto white sticker paper. I use online labels, glossy, inkjet. I just printed on the sticker paper because I felt like, well my silhouette doesn't do a good job in cutting them all the way out. So I just did this sort of kiss cut thing because that, that does it well. That's what it turned out like. And then I just took these stickers straight up, took them off, and stuck them straight onto the, like into the side, the laminating pouch. And our laminate's perfectly fine. I mean, they're not completely opaque because it's just the sticker part, not the backing. But it's so easy because then you just stick it onto the surface inside the pouch, um, close it up, and put it through, and you've got some. Um, laminated die cuts because uh, that way they just they last longer and um, you don't have to do any like fussy cutting to get them all the way out because they're laminate so I got two of these here this is just my anime girlfriend Nozomi and this is from Lasney Cray shop um, it'll be listed below all the shops will be listed below uh, yeah, so then I just cut it out and you've got a little laminated die cut and I just feel like it's easier if it's laminated you can reuse them and stuff but because now I have to like fussy cut them all and I've only got big scissors at the moment so that's why I'm doing like a lazy fussy cutting but yeah so I thought that was pretty fun I've been having some fun just making like silly um 
silly die cut images. So that's where I did like the Romy and Michelle ones and well actually I think all you did on all you saw on the computer was my fueled by spite. So I actually went ahead and did some Romy and Michelle movie ones. So I drew this half of Romy and Michelle Tay. I'm super happy with that. This is my artwork too. This is from my witchy set. It's like a book of moon spells. Which I think looks really really cool. Um but going like pastely. I kind of just picked up the uh, color way from Leslie Cree Shop. She has some really cute colors, so that's what I like copied, I guess. Oh, this one's going to be harder to posty cut. Uh, yeah, so how's my day been? Well, let me know how your day has been, or if it's just beginning. If it is, I hope you have a wonderful day. My day's been okay. I don't know. I'm was up way too late. I finished binging the... I should probably be on the... actually like getting filmed. <laughs> Fuzzy guiding. No, but I was binge watching the old series of Will and Grace so I could check out the um, the reunion uh, series which has got another season starting soon. And I really love Eric McCormack, so I thought I'd finally finish Will and Grace. And I finished the very last episode, season 8, last night at like 1am, whoops. But it was, it was okay. I mean, I could see why people didn't like the ending, but I also thought it was fairly natural. Like, Will and Grace are kind of together because they were... They had no one else, and then they had babies and partners, and I don't know, then maybe they didn't really need each other in their lives. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't want to like ruin Will and Grace, but it's super old. But um, I know that the reunion pretty much ignores all that finale stuff, so I'm looking forward to starting that and seeing how it's different. You know, you guys in silhouette, I made this um, fake Instax picture of Heidi. Look at it. And that's her nickname, Bum Queen. <laughs> I just did like a photo for my phone and then I just did this uh, like box on um, silhouette and then I just put the image inside so it looks like an Instax picture. Now I do have an Instax camera that I can take a photo of it with but um, it's just around those corners. Well, I just had to show you what Heidi was doing. <laughs> That's what she's currently doing in my office, but uh, I realize I can just round these corners with my corner rounder. There we go. This is the Kadomaru Pro. So now I've got a cute little Instax of Heidi for my plan. I love that. Oh, and I drew this one too. The printer squad. I think I showed you guys that one. Yeah, my Romy Michelle one's on you. What was I saying? Anyway, yeah, I finished at like 2am, like 1am last night and then I was awake until almost 3am just listening to music in bed because that's what I do. And, um, and then I woke up at 8 and then I had to very much like jump out of bed and feed Heidi her breakfast. And then I just ended, just went back to sleep pretty much um, to like 11. I don't know. I'm just tired you guys. I keep thinking about my chapter and having to write it and I just feel awful. I'm just having no fun at the moment. <laughs> Just not enjoying it, and um, that happens. I'm so over my stupid thesis. But anyway, uh, then I was just chilling, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna get some writing done today, blah blah blah, and then 
I didn't know who he was originally, but then I figured it out that it was our landlord's handyman. But anyway, he knocked on the door randomly. I'm like, well, I don't open doors for random men who don't have packages. <laughs> well, look at this cute one from um, Fox and Cactus. This is a freebie on their Facebook page from Valentine's Day. That's probably enough fussy cutting for now, but I'm still going to do this whole sheet as well. We've got a whole bunch here, super fun. Oh yeah, sorry, all the holes from the Foxy Fish, Foxy Fix dashboards are here. So I'm going to like try and throw them out. But anyway, so I was like, nope, I'm not a... Uh, Arching the door, and I saw him through the window, and he was checking out the garden. I'm like, oh my, is that is that, is that George? I don't know, cause I he was dressed up in full cycling gear with like glasses and a helmet, and I couldn't recognize him. And I was like, so weird. Out. So I went to the back to hide, you know, <laughs> as you do. And then he clambered over the back fence and totally freaked me the hell out. Uh, if you don't know, my I live in a townhouse, and we're the center house. So literally there is no way to get to our backyard from any street. So he, that's when I figured out it was George. Well, once I had run away and hid myself into the bathroom from freaking out that a strange man, I climbed into our, well, obviously he was let into our neighbor's backyard and then he climbed into ours. But I still don't appreciate that, you know? It totally freaked me out. I was not happy. I very I startle easily. <laughs> I will be honest. <laughs> so I wanted to make another washi dashboard and I, I ran out of vellum. So it's very sad, so I'm gonna use normal paper. I thought maybe we could use well, I got these simply gilded ones in the washi pre-sale. And I love them. And I thought they'd be perfect colours for this, and then I thought why not add um, this fox and cactus, like, witchy, thin witchy, um, moons and stars, hollow, because that purple goes, and maybe we should bring in a thin, a little bow, a mini bow, just to add a bit more variety, should we bring some more pink in, we got this silver pink, Maybe you can do this here, do it like that. Well, um, sorry, I'm going to think of it the other way. Alright, maybe we do it like this. Alright, I think that will be cute. So I'm going to get started on this. If you don't know, I've, I haven't realized, but I got a new, um, I got a new, um, back thingy for my filming. I think it looks so much like brighter and nicer but it's still that white wood which I really like the look of. So yeah I'm really happy with it. Hopefully you guys um, don't mind it. I think it looks much cleaner compared to my old wood um, backdrop. I'll list where I got my backdrop down below as well just so you can check that out. It's a an Australian store, so but they're like professional vinyl photography backgrounds. Okay, so we got that, and then we're gonna do some these really pretty pink candy corns. I got a comment saying uh, in the last video that they were making a washi dashboard with me, which was super cool. <laughs> So we've got to think about, we're crafting together, you guys. But yeah, so my day was a bit, uh, bit stressful. It's kind of been off the rails since then. So I was like, screw it, I am going to craft. And then I will write probably after dinner. Oh my god, how cute. Perhaps this will be a bit of a busy, um... <laughs> Uh, dashboard. That's okay though. It's just gonna be spooky goodness. Oh my god, these ghosts. I love the original ghosts too, but this like purple 
gray shade is so much better. I love it. They're so cute. Oh wait, we're gonna do it both sides. Duh. I'm glad I like looked up how to do a washi dashboard first. Like when in doubt, even if you think, yeah, I probably know how to make this. But you know, when in doubt, just 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 check. <laughs> look up a YouTube video and have a look because maybe you'd be wrong. <laughs> But I didn't think about how you um, repeat the washi on either side until I washed one, so yeah. Good to do that. Everything is on YouTube. Like My main advice to anyone when it comes to like crafting and things like that is um, always check YouTube and eBay. They both have everything. And at least on eBay, for, especially for material supplies, you're not gonna. You can see how people are like upselling it. They're they're buying it at that cheap price, um, and then <laughs> charging you extra. So if you just do a little extra work and more waiting time from China, it's all good. You save so much money, and it's really fun just to do things yourself. You know. Now I'm going to do some more bats. Oh my god, they're so cute. This was the washi in the pre-sale I was most excited for. So you know your girl got two because they're too cute. I just kind of love the happy male um, owls and now bats. I don't know why, they're just so cute. And I love putting them on my happy mail, so that I send out. Boop. So today is Wednesday. I guess that explains everything. It's freaking hump day and I'm just like, nope. <laughs> I am done with life. Actually, I was done with life yesterday. I'm like, Ooh. with my writing, I want weeks to be over, but also I don't want weeks to be gone either. <laughs> so I need these days. Such a failure at the moment. Sorry for being negative. I'm just feeling a bit down about my chapter. I know what I have to do and I'm just I'm not doing it. I don't know why. I don't know if anyone else has felt that way. You have my commiseration. If you have. Whoop. We got like literally the tiniest little white corner. So I might as well just overlay this um, fox and cactus one to finish off the corners. But how amazing does this look? Ah, I'm so excited! Why can't writing be this easy? Alright, actually now um, because I'm using normal paper I can actually see the edge. So get this Erin Codrum roll around. Try and line it up with the edge and then try not to destroy many background. Maybe if you do one side first, it'll be easier to pick up. Look at that, you guys. Oh, I love it. Okay, now I'm just going to cut off the bag. It's better to like um, cut from an angle where your, where your blade actually sits uh, next to the ruler is on the bit you're cutting off. Because if you like sway or make a mistake, um, you're not cutting the bit you don't want cut. You know, that's that's the main goal of doing. It. <laughs> but you know, it's not always that easy. 
Look at this cool little like corner. That's neat. <laughs> it's really hot at the moment. Like summer has like summer. Spring has sprung here. Uh, but it's pretty much gonna be summer soon. Yesterday it was 26 degrees Celsius. And if you live by Fahrenheit, you can Google it. Just Google what is 26 Celsius. And it should fill out to like in Fahrenheit. But that's what the rest of us do, guys. <laughs> Um, but yeah, 26 Celsius and I was freaking dying, like, I don't know if it will be out of here. You'll probably have it here in the background, but I do have the fan on just for some air movement. So I apologize for that in a, um, late, <laughs> not in advance. Whoops, I probably should have addressed that earlier. I do have the, a room fan on, a standing fan, because I'm hot. Oh my god, Heidi is still in that plastic bag. What's the time? I always get crafting so late. It's 4.30. So, um, yeah. So it's been hot lately, so we got the fan on and, uh, I just don't know. I, I wish it wasn't spring. <laughs> I just want to go back to winter, please. And I could be wearing my jackets and stuff. Oh, well. But I guess it's useful, like, sometimes you can get a bit too cold. I'm going to get all this off and I'll be right back because I doubt this is very interesting. <laughs> Alright, we have a nice clean desk now and I don't think I'm going to laminate this one. I'll put anything on the back just yet. I think I'm going to put it straight into the planner, so I'm just going to use my punch. This is from One Indust Open Industries, and there we go, simple. Now, I don't want to do a setup video in this. I think I'm going to do a lot of it by myself, to be honest, just so... Um, thing is I put these in thinking like okay that's a good dashboard there but I don't want to put a tab on the on a reusable plastic dashboard you know so I might end up putting dash tabs on the vellums just to keep it a bit lighter depending on what I've got in here um, but we will put a tab on this one so I think that'll be fine oh my gosh <laughs> I don't want to put my washi thing all the way at the end. How would this look with my layering? Yeah, I might just put the tab on here because I don't know how often I'm going to reuse that. I think I'm actually just going to put my washi dashboard here. And I know I shouldn't have opened the rings that way, but I'm lazy at the moment. If you see my haul, which I think went up on the Wednesday, I, um, this is when I hold this planner and I had these silver rings in it and I bought gold rings to go with it and I put it in. Super simple. The cool thing is once you've demolished the other one, um, the silver one that was already in there, you just slot this one straight in. So that's really useful. So I want to show you my tabs that I made. I did actually draw these myself. So these are the back tabs. I drew them in Procreate. Um, just like the one little one and then I just made it into tabs on Silhouette. You can see here if you just put the images mirrored and close enough and overlap your cut lines um, you can make little tabs for yourselves. Now if you want these for your Halloween setup my cute little bats, um, just check in the description box, I have a link to download it for free. My only two rules are do not claim it as your own and do not sell it at all. It is for personal use, you can use it as much as you want, as long as you credit me. So tag me on Instagram, I love to see them. But I'll show you up close, we've got a cute little eyelashes one, 
heart eyes, the laughing emoji, my favorite, um, little kissy face. So I just got those four there and I just put a whole bunch so you can choose um, what you like. I'm going to start off with this purple one. They are sized so you can fit about four almost overlapping downwards. Um, obviously you can resize them in, in silhouette if you like, that's no problem. So what you do is I'm going to stick them fairly way, way down. I don't want them sticking out too much. So I just stuck it at the edge on the top here because this is the first tab. And now I'm going to turn you guys over. And we're going to fold it and try and line it up perfectly and fold. Now it's got a bit of a... Oh, that'll be fine. So there's our first a little bat tab, so cute. I put a little like bat shaped bow on them and I think that's just adorable. So that was my second one, we could take this off now. Actually I'm going to leave that there because we probably should actually do a lot of this so we can line them up. <laughs> Outside. So that's our first one. So what's going to be our second? The second one is the dash, this one. Our washi dashboard that we just made. Um, you just do this vellum. This, I know I lamented in my clip just before when I did die cards that I can't print color vellum. Well, I got sick of complaining, so I went and I picked out my old um, color laser printer which is like 11 years old now. I wasn't sure it was going to work, it was sitting in the dust and storage. So I pulled it out and it still works. I mean it's almost out of black ink so I have to do, deal with that somehow but um, it printed this color vellum and it's so cute. This is Lesney Cree Shop as well and I'm sorry for not pronouncing her name correctly at all. Okay, so this one needs a dashboard, and I do have some papers here. These are from scrapbook.com. We've got like this purple glitter, we've got candy corns, these sort of black spider webs on the back. Um, I really like this, but maybe this is too bright, a rainbow. I picked up these ones because I thought they were adorable, but maybe they're too bright. But they're so cute. Maybe we can do the candy corns right now. I think candy corns will be okay. Get my cutter out, leave those dashboards there in the right order. And we'll get out my um my measurement thing here. We'll get some cobweb in it by doing the corner. This is just a page I punched incorrectly so I keep it to size my dash my pages if I don't have outlines. So then I just put this little clip here and that will clip it in and then we'll just cut it to size along the thing. You can't see anything I'm doing. Go good. <laughs> Alright. What we gotta do guys, I got, um, I've been in sort of a musical kick since Wick Sing Wicked and uh, I went back to the first musical I ever saw which was Pirates of Penzance with John English. And if you search Pirates Presents John English on YouTube, um, they did actually record it. So you can actually, like, watch it. I think we'll put the candy canes on the front. They just look cute and they have a little bit of orange then as well. Candy canes, gosh. Candy corn. But anyway, so I have songs from... Um, 
participants and stuck in my head. Alright, so that's the next dashboard. We can decorate it up obviously with our uh, we'll use this bow as this tab. I want to make this simple, you know. I'm not going to go over the top just yet because alright, this is another one that needs now these are too small. Yeah, but I kind of want to um, we can layer it. I do have some tape. We could make a pocket. Hmm. Maybe if we make the pocket like this. Alrighty. This is so this is um a six by six paper pad. They just got from scrapbook.com as well. And uh yeah, I don't know. Let's, let's just do this on the fly, shall we? This is a Tombow permanent adhesive. So just do this side. Okay, maybe we'll get the... So we can see where we put the glue. I don't know. I'm totally winging this, you guys. Alright, we got those two sides there, and then we'll do the bottom. This is a permanent adhesive, so that should work. Alright, now we get. Oh, you guys are just doing this on the fly! <laughs> Could be dangerous. Ah, it's a little bit of a pocket, not too much. I just realized we got to cut it down one side. But at least most of it will be, you know, joined together, so it'll be easy to glue it again. I know I could have just um. <laughs> All right. So where does the? I know you guys. I did not think this through. Anyway, leave me alone. <laughs> Um, doo -doo -doo. what is that binder clip down? We're figuring it out, we're, we're just doing random stuff, gluing stuff together permanently when we shouldn't be. <laughs> this is how I craft a maverick. Just trying to get everything straight. Alright, and this is this side, and then we'll re glue. What are you doing, Jess? Random crafting, she doesn't know what she's doing, Jess. She is nuts. Wait, is it still glue? No, it's not. It's glued on the bottom. Alright. Then. That is a very strange way of doing things, Jess. Because now it's like this on the back. Alright, okay. We can do this. We have some postcards from shops. I think that will be really cute there. Like on the back of this, on the pocket. Um. <laughs> just leave it over the middle. Then we just got this here. Hmm. I know. How about this is gonna be weird again. <laughs> We're really going on a journey today, you guys. We're going to put a layer of washi, because that seems to be um, how thick the border is. Guys, I don't even know. Yeah, 
Yeah, so right now, but with cat like tread up on the river's hill, no sound at all. We'd never speak a word. <laughs> yeah, I've got like tread stuck in my head. And you're probably not asking, but just why the John English parts of Penzance? Because that is the one that I saw live and I saw, ooh, I think I saw it, I've seen it three times with John English. May he rest in peace. Um, he's like an Aussie rocker. He was an Aussie rocker basically. And they started doing like Gilbert Sullivan musicals. <laughs> um, Oh, was Simon Gallagher is like the main dude. John English is like the pirate king guy. But anyway, um, I saw the very first one in 1994, which oh, I don't even know. I can't do time. All I know is I was born in 88 and I saw it in 1994 or 5. So early. And then they did a few more. And then they did like a like a reunion one years later, which was so funny. So much fourth walling. <laughs> I loved it. Joking about their plastic surgery because they'd gotten so old. <laughs> All right, make sure this is the right way up. Yes. And then we'll center our little fox and cactus ghost cats on the back. How is that, you guys? I don't even know. Um, I don't think this one is going to like the thickness. They're not always about, they're not always into thick um, card, these punches. Gotta have that strain. It doesn't seem to be. Oh, we did what we could. It 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 did it as much as it could. Alright, now I got this like weird little pocket thing <laughs> as our next dashy with the little card at the bag. Alright, so that's for online orders. Look at this. Dang, um maybe this just put some more vellum. I don't have a pack of doubles here. Now we have this vellum at the front from Leslie Cree Shop. So how about we put this in there? Okay. And then we have just a random list. I just put this one as well. There we go. We use the same ones. Now, I apologize, this video won't have any foiling in it, but um, I uh, just didn't, just not feeling the foil for this setup, so I'm not doing foil right now. All right. Now we're going to be doing more of these bats. So because we have more than for that fit across. Um, obviously I'm going to be uh, doubling up so restarting later on. Alright, so we got this one now. I think it's so cute to have them as like the little bats. It makes them really decorative. I know I'm um, uh, Paper Princess, Kiara, Kiki, she used bows in the same way, which was really cool. Alright, we have the little hot eyes one, and now we're going to do the little laughing one, which I have to show you close up. As close as I can. Because look at it! Ah! It's based off my favorite, um... Based off my favorite... 
uh, you know, <laughs> emoji. Gosh, out of words today. All right, little bat friend. I did that one. Wookie. No matter. <laughs> That's my life. Doing things wonky. All right, now we're gonna put our last bat for this. Um, little section. So we'll do a little kissy face one. Alrighty. So that's our first slot. And now we're going to put them in. I'll do the rest off camera because it's not that interesting. We're just sort of doing little bits of crafting here. You know, keeping it casual. <laughs> How many times can I say that? But now I'm like, hmm. Oh yeah, I'm going to start the new Will and Grace. I was going to say, now I'm like, well, what do I watch? Oh gosh. Now I have to take this washi off. That completely destroying my insects. That's the first one. It's gonna be fun to fill these like actual dashboards up from Foxy Fix. Looking forward to that. Heidi is now on top of that bag. She's no longer in it. <laughs> Just a little update on Heidi for you guys. The I love these papers. I'm also sort of um, doing this setup without spending too much money. Like most of this stuff is printable or I have it from last year. I know. I'm just, um, oh, I have this vellum here. Oh, well. I've already done this one. Was it meant to? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I don't even know. That's the next section anyway. I don't even remember what I'm doing anymore, you guys. So this is the way it will look in the planner. I might take some little stickers and just trim to make these less like folded and more curved. But otherwise, I think they look super cute. And then we'll have another like row of them um, afterwards. The cute little bats. All right, so we've done that. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do obviously more later. I was just looking at these, and I was thinking we could put some of these like in the pocket, like that, and then maybe the girlfriend. See how like simple they are in them. <laughs> First before guy, that's kind of cute. Um, look at these dashboards. So like we could put one of these in here. It's like essentially, you don't have to fill the dashboard all the way up. I don't think. Like, you just put this cute little picture of your cat in there. Maybe some moon spells. Rise before guys. No, no, they kind of move around in there. Hmm. I guess that's why you put something in the back. I've got some other cards. I don't know how they fit in here. Oh, they actually do fit. So. I might put the happy mail bats because then it's like right next, on top of the that. Because I really want this in here. And maybe I'll put fries before guys there. Eh. What do you think about that? I don't know. And then just kind of lay it over the top. It's kind of fun. And maybe on the back of that we can do. Maybe I'll try and lift this. My nails are too long. I gotta 
I gotta get them redone, but. So in the back of that, we got the little Heidi picture. That's kind of cute. Okay, I think we're getting there. Um, that's probably it for the video, I think, you guys. Uh, you know, just feeling a bit tired. <laughs> But uh, I'm going to keep doing these tabs. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I, hopefully I should do a little bit of crafting and we could just hang out and listen to me complain and <laughs> say weird stuff. But if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you next time. Bye!